During the COVID-19 pandemic and rising suicide rates among Americans have encouraged open discussion about our approach to mental health. Tonight, Six News is on your side as Brent Weber introduces us to a group forging a plan to overhaul America's mental health care system. A score of brilliant minds from across the country behind closed doors in Omaha for a day and a half together to tackle a seemingly impossible task. I had no idea what I was getting into. I knew that I was going to be in a room with thinkers, academics, practitioners, researchers, storytellers, and that we were tasked with solving complex problems. But really, it was to create a unified vision of what a transformative mental and behavioral health system could look like. As a youth advocate, trying to change these systems, it often feels like I'm screaming into the void. And this was the first time it really felt like I was preaching to a choir. And I like talking to a choir more than the void. <laughs> a conference to find definitive answers to mental health care in the U.S. was Omni Inventive Care President Bill Ray's idea. No politicians, no live streaming, just people looking for solutions. There is no magic pill. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of cultural problems. There's a lot of racial problems and they get intertwined with what is uh, a bias on mental and behavioral health. And you cannot separate all those things out. They are part of the problem. And uh, the people we brought together over the last 31 hours um, actually were able to articulate that quite well. Some of us are really good at stories. Some of us are great at details. Some of us are great at building and breaking things. But all of us have a power to change things. And we just need to recognize that even if we come at it from different perspectives, we all can change how the mental health system is at the moment. Once released, Ray says their multi-pillar strategy for revitalizing the behavioral health system will be the most potent such development since 1944. In the meantime, get involved, educate, become educated, ask questions. Mental and behavioral health affect us all. And so we need people to actively raise their voices and, and share just their stories of how it's affecting them, it's affecting their communities, it's affecting the people that they love. And if people get involved, then we believe we'll amass the necessary critical support mm -hmm. in order to amplify our voices to the policymakers, to the politicians, to the community advocates, to those who make powerful decisions that impact communities every single day. I think we can collectively agree that we value a happy family. We value love, compassion. We value a sense of togetherness and connection. And that is what we are trying to accomplish at the end of the day. On your side in Omaha, Brent Weber, 6 News.